Which pair do you think is likely to nominate their partner at some point this season? Sean might nominate Victoria. He doesn't like her that much, so he's just picking it for now. You like space. A cheese of a... You like space when you are upset. Yes. But you told the twins the opposite. Like space, but be around. <laughs> One, you and Sean seem to break up every three market days. It's last Sunday, you said you are done. Nothing can ever make you go back. They just toasted you small, you went back. What's happening? Intense. What is really going on there? Because you did say something about her always putting herself first every time. Is that really how you feel about her? The very first non-eviction Sunday of the season. First off, guys, Ebuka asked one of the viewers that now the housemates have been dissolved, which of the former pair is most likely to nominate their ex-partner next week during the live nomination? And the lady said, Sean, because Sean does not like Victoria. So I'm putting this question back to you guys. Do you think Sean disliked Victoria? You know, we've seen the show, we've watched it, you know, of all the pairs that came into the show, Sean was the one that gave, you know, his partner the less, you know, attention. So with that, do you really think that Sean dislikes Victoria or do you think there is more to their relationship that has not been offered? Maybe based off of what happened in the past that we don't know. I would like to hear your honest response. Guys, Ebuka asked Wani a very funny question. Last week, he said, you are done. You are done with Sean. You people fight every market days. And now you put her back together after all your threats. And she said, I I'm in love again. I bet, did you hear that accent? Hey, hey. Wani changed that accent for I'm in love with girl. You know, I really like the boy. I'm feeling the guy. Uh, uh, hey. She even used the L word like she loves Sean. <laughs> yeah. uh, it must be nice. Wani says she loves Sean. No? Hmm. Okay. She says she loves Sean. She understands that they are getting to know each other. And the more she spends time with him, the more you get to understand him. She's an all tempered person. Blah, blah, blah. And Ebuka said, okay, what is the dynamic of what you guys have going on? Is Sean your boyfriend? And she said, mm, yes. Is my boyfriend in the house? I'm like, okay. <laughs> So this relationship has been defined boyfriend. Handy, what do you have to say about this update? <laughs> I know her sister will not be happy at all. Anyway, Buka also asked Handy a question saying that, oh, this whole separation, you know, pair dissolution seems to like affect you guys. Is this not meant to be a perfect time for you guys to, you know, set yourself apart and understand each other as individuals? And he said that, yes, you know, she has always been close to her sister, but she's still like soaking up everything in. Maybe by next week, we'll see how we draw a lot more from her sister. I'm like, Buka, leave them. If they're not what we draw from each other, leave them. They be twin. You know, easy. There is one question Ebuka asked OC this evening, and it got me thinking. Ebuka, are you trying to protect the Mbadoe twin or what? If you notice how Osi and uh, Chizoba has been moving in that house, look at the question Ebuka asked Osi. Do you think you can play a role in making you know the checkers become better? We know that Chizoba and Oyeka are always having you know their back and forth. And he said yes, he would like to, and that is what he has been doing. I'm like Ebuka, which kind of move question with this one? This is not what we are expecting. We were expecting a question like, you have a woman outside the house. What is going on between you and Chizoba? What is going on in that friend? Like, what is the dynamic of that friendship? You are here asking, is there a way you can make their, their, their sisterhood better? It'd be like, say, Ebuka, they protect him by the way to him. And all the things Ozzy has been doing this week, Ebuka did not ask any question. Are they the sponsors of the show? Because why are they being protected? Let's see this up.
Ebuka asked Onyeka the whole issue she has been having with her sister and the comments she made concerning that her sister always likes to put herself first, you know, she always wants her opinion to be heard and all of that. Is that really how you feel about your sister? And Onyeka said, mm, to be honest, this is how they've been, you know, from day one, even in their house, they're always like that, you know, and she understands her sister. And this whole thing is not happening because of the game. It's not because of the pressure of the house. That this is how, you know, they somehow bond together because they are two different individuals. I'm like, okay, fair enough, fair enough. That was really smart. <laughs> Moving on, guys. Ebuka asked Tofa a very corny question, in my own opinion. Ebuka said something about, you know, this conversation Tofa had with Suj. Consigning this whole thing of you know having different levels of friendship. Ebukana asked Tofao, Do you think Sud is in support of your relationship? I'm like, Ebuka, which kind of question be this? Why you want to put this guy for tight corner? <laughs> God I better go. Has there been any time Tofa mentioned anything like Suj not being interested or in support? of his relationship i don't think i've heard anything like that please if you have tell me all right and tofa said no obviously that he believes that Sud is in support of his relationship ebuka wanted to finish chizoba today like the way he dragged chizoba eh? chizoba is definitely going to cry maybe after the show you know this whole thing of she's about always wanting to put herself first you know wanting her opinion to be heard ebuka asked her your sister said it to you you had an issue with your sister but one of them by the way twins told you that same thing but you agreed why did you agree with oc and disagree with your sister she said no 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 that she did not accept what oc said i'm like eh I'm like, eh, hey, she's a bar. You, you said you did not accept. Hey. I went for that to ask her, okay, you made mention of something to Ben. You tell Ben that whenever you are angry, you want space. But on the flip side, you told them by the way twins that whenever you are upset, you know, you want attention and all of that. What do you mean by that? And to say, eh, hey, <laughs> God, I better go. <laughs> And yes, I like space but to be around. I like my space but be around. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> so she now went for that and explained that and even if we are angry, give me space, you know. But after some time, come and check on me. Don't just abandon me and all of that. This is about really things that the world revolve around her. I really don't understand that. She likes attention too much. Like two, two. <laughs> and thankfully she's getting enough of it she's getting from oc and she's also getting from ben but we can see that she's about seem to value oc more than ben so guys i'd like to hear your opinion concerning today life you know show what do you think about ebuka's question was it giving and at the end of the day there was no eviction as i said earlier but he tried to like scare the housemates my own opinion ebuka is trying to like protect some persons if not and uh -uh, we know how ebuka they drag they ask questions they shake table he really chose it then turn abiosi come they ask yeah 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 question